I'm going to show you how to take the tulip embossing folder and make it different, make it into uh, different sizes. So we start by cutting a piece of cardstock that fits the embossing folder. Can we run that through the Big Shot machine? piece of paper that looks like this. Now I want to make, I want to take this and I want to make it smaller. So you lay it on your big shot on your embossing folder to the size that you want. So this one is say roughly we want one to be three and three quarters. So you line up your paper that's been embossed already with the embossed images on your cardstock. So to make this smaller, you simply slide this out to the different size that you want. So we're going to go right there, line this up on the top, it'll just slide right into place. And now we don't want to run this all the way through the machine, we only want to run it through to get this first border, because we're going to cut the paper off after. So you just lay it where you want it, make sure it stays still. Oops. <laughs> I just need to turn this around so that I, I'm only running it through at the very beginning. So you just start it just to where it crimps that first edge and then back it off. Take it out of your folder. You now have a nice that you simply cut off with your um, cutting mat and once you trim that it becomes that size. Here's another one I did with the was a little bit bigger. Oh no, same size. So that ends up being four, four by three and a half, three and five eighths. Remember to, to slide your, your paper down to the size that you want and line up the embossing that was already done and only run it through just until you get your, your um, embossing on the end. There you have it. Thanks for joining me and have a great day.